What's going on everybody? The Game Hunter channel with another episode of Let's Play Star Wars Commander. This is probably episode number 11 by now, if I'm not wrong. Hmm. So far we're doing okay. I haven't moved ahead that much. Uh, the main reason is because unfortunately in this game you get to a point when every building takes forever to construct. Forever. Um, right now the sentry guns are taking like a, a day and a half and stuff like that. Uh, like I say, I'm just using the 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 credits that I'm gaining. Thank you to my. You can see the link at the bottom. Yes, bit.ly forward slash the game hunter gems. Um, I'm using the free my app dot com uh, to get credits and redeem them into iTunes gift cards. Um, of course, that's gonna become a crystal after that, right? So, yeah, so I, I don't wanna use all that I have. I don't have that much either. I'm just trying to take a little bit little and, uh, and don't try to rush that much. Um, like I said, but unfortunately, the buildings are taking forever. That's why they say it's been a little bit painful. I finally was able to get the research lab level six. So I'm already have my, uh, I got my uh, stormtroopers. Level six, quite decent. It's become one of my more versatile and um, uh, cool units to use in any attacks, any raids. So we're gonna be using that today. In this episode, basically, we are going to talk about a balance offense. Okay, uh, we try some craziness uh, raids with the the do backs the. Only infantry, only ATST and stuff like that. But to be quite honest, you need to find a way to get a balance. Okay, your your attacks need to be. Uh, you need to be able to get a profit. So whatever credits you're gonna spend in in, in units, uh, the idea is to get that credit back and with some some profit, of course, right? So in order to do that you need to be able to manage your units in a better way uh, how you place those units in the battlefield so this episode is gonna be more oriented to like a uh, we're gonna be attacking a couple of people and we're gonna analyze those attacks and see what we're doing right what we're doing wrong okay uh, I'm gonna be answering some questions during my uh, videos question that you guys are posting in the in the um, commentary section I remember somebody posted something regarding which sentry gun can take care of the this dude, Phase 2 Dark Trooper. I believe he's playing with the Rebels, of course. Uh, yeah, this is a really, there's a really tough cookie. And again, it's becoming one of my main troops because of the the fact that... Okay, let me see, let me make sure that we got everything ready for to roll. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it's become one of my favorites because a lot of people are just abusing of having rocket launchers like this one in their bases because they destroy vehicles extremely fast. Uh, the problem that the rocket launchers are not really effective against infantry, especially the dark troopers. So if you want to take care of the dark troopers, you can either have some rapid fire turrets or you can try to go for this one, the burst turret. Yes, Okay, these are really good against infantry. The only problem that they have is only they only attack one target at a time. That's why I decided to get rid of that. I really don't like it. It's uh, it's really useless. I mean, it, it's just gonna focus all the attack into one unit. And if you swarm that sentry gun with a I don't know, ten uh, stormtrooper, that sentry gun doesn't have any chances. That turret doesn't have any chances to succeed. Uh, but it's a good, it's a good uh, turret to stop this phase two dark troopers. Um, but again, I think it's it's all about balance. Uh, you have some high level shield generators, and you have some sentry guns in the back. Should be able to take care of the dark troopers unless they come big time with that. But again, uh, I believe it's probably the, the 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 rapid fire turret, the burst turret. Are probably the most effective against uh, the phase zero dark trooper and of course if you make the mistake or the enemy made the mistake to deploy all the units together in the same in the same tile of course the mortar tour is gonna take care of them too right 
All right, let's see how we're doing in here. Let me make sure that we got everything ready. This is the army that we're going to be using in, in combat. Uh, we have a total of 82 capacity. We're going to be using two level 5 hover tanks, one level 4 a ASTST. ATST? ATST? Damn, I always get confused when I say that crap. <laughs> ATST, damn it. Okay. Uh, one heavy turret. One heavy turret. One heavy stormtrooper. We're going to be using two of those repair droids. I like to use one foot with my hero and the other one with one of the hover tanks, depending how everything looks like. Uh, we got level 5 uh, phase 2 dark troopers. We're going to be using seven of those guys. Uh, we're going to use a bunch of uh, stormtroopers, of course. This is level 6. We got 12 right now. Uh, we got the 5 minutes left. Yes. Let me see if we have some of these commissions ready. These are really important, guys. Really, really important. I, uh, I wasn't thinking that they can be crucial in your attacks. But right now, they're doing 15... Do that. 15 thousand damage that's a lot i know the splash damage is not that big but what i'm doing i'm deploying the tie, fi tie fighters to either do, uh, get rid of the shield generators or to attack some specific turrets if they're causing too much trouble right so we're gonna get that one uh okay you know what let's rush that one just in case we got two unfortunately one that's one of the things that i'm gonna probably talk in another video there is a couple things that they have to fix in this game one of those is with the commissions, okay? Every time that you got these guys, uh, you collect two or three of these. If you don't use them, I believe, in a period of an hour or something like that, you lose them, man. And all that crates are getting lost. That, that's such a waste. I'm sure this stupid bug. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they, they weren't planning to do that that way. So I hope they come out with something to fix that, okay? Because it's really, really annoying. Anyway, let's get into a couple fights. And uh, let's analyze how our army is working okay let's make sure it's something worth it of course okay uh it's not really worth it i can't really pay not even for my army with the credits and let's try to find something else again you need to make sure they get some profit from the attacks right <laughs> all right this is a this is a funny attack i can see that this guy is leaving all the resources outside which is a technique that people use uh, don't know why I can steal everything in there and this guy is using some burst turrets in the front so that will be that could be a little bit tricky for my dark troopers to be able to reach that area I have a lot of rocket but again let's let's give it a shot let's see what we do no 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 dude 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 oh no 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 the idea was to go to the other place no over there anyway we're gonna deploy the sentry guns in here I mean the the stormtroopers in here. Hopefully that the uh, ATST veteran decide to go back to the base and attack. It probably is not gonna do it. God damn it! God damn! It. I need to get rid of that shield. I really need to get rid of that shield. Okay, I'm gonna deploy the, the regular STST. Probably we're gonna be able to get rid of the. I'm gonna put a repair drone in the back. See if that can help. That's the problem. I was really hoping that the veteran is going to take care of the chill. Right now, it's not doing crap. So, look at that. It's making my game a lot more complicated. That's something that I wasn't expecting. You got to be really careful when you deploy your units because things like this can happen. I'm waiting for the stupid ATSD to decide to help the rest of the troops. But it looks like he doesn't give a crap. Damn, that's not good. If that is the case, we're going to start attacking from here. And try to use a couple of these uh, STST. I mean, Dark Trooper, we're gonna use a TIE Fighter Raid. Got to get rid of the generator. Good, generator's down. We gotta get rid of the rocket launcher also. I don't like that. And a couple other Stormtroopers in here. Stormtroopers are doing some good job uh, cleaning the resources. I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately, the attack got completely screwed up because my veteran ATST decided not to be a veteran. <laughs> but you guys can see that the phase two uh, dark troopers are really taking the hit against the, the sentry guns of this guy. 
Uh, it still was a successful raid. I don't know if we're gonna get that much resources, but uh, this is not the. Damn, we didn't finish the base. Hmm. Not so good. I mean, the resources that we get is garbage. And again, I'm trying to prove my point that it doesn't matter all the units that you have, all the kind of units that you have. The way if you deploy the units in the wrong moment or uh, in the wrong place, this is the thing, the kind of thing that can happen, right? We're trying to exactly avoid that. So we're going to get two of these, two of these. We're going to rush them because we're recording live. Um, that's the whole idea to make sure that we all enjoy these videos as much as we can. How many? Seven? Okay. I think we had enough in there. Just need to rush my hero. And again, if uh, you want to try to get credits for this game, uh, just follow the link at the bottom. Uh, bit.ly forward slash taking haunted gems uh, and go through the free my apps uh, in your iOS device or Android. Uh, the only thing you have to do is just to try a couple different apps and just doing that you're gonna get credit that you can apply and you'll be able to redeem iTunes gift cards also right it's pretty cool it's really easy I mean anybody can do it so I recommend you to go for it and do it all right well, let's go to another attack uh, that was it was really sad this last attack because unfortunately our veteran ATST decide to go to the wrong way damn it I know I know that, that that's the kind of mistake that you can come across uh, uh, this is a decent this is a decent uh, base I can probably attack for this area from the back to avoid the wall there's a rocket launcher in there so what I'm gonna do probably I can deploy some uh, dark troopers so that the dark troopers can take the hit and uh, at that point, I can put my SDST. He's gonna take care of business. You see, that was really fast and easy. Hopefully, this guy's gonna get rid of the second shield generator, so I can deploy the rest of my SDSTs. I got a tank in there. I mean, a sentry gun. Two sentry gun. Oh, come on, deploy. Sometimes I got the problem that it's get a little bit buggy, and I and it can't really click in the right units. Okay, now that everything is getting open, we can come up with the rest of the army uh, things are looking okay in this one the veteran STSD did their job I'm gonna get rid of this uh, rocket launch in there with another TIE fight uh, they are really useful guys the TIE fighter uh, raids are really useful for provide extra support for your troops so I can say I think I mentioned in one of the old videos that uh, I wasn't really happy the way they're doing uh, but again, look at that. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. The phase two. Oh my god, everything is moving. Sorry. The phase two uh, dark trooper. They can take the hit against the turret. And then your vehicles are going to be able to take care of the rest. So that's what they're crucial to in the in any, any like a balanced uh, empire army. We got a perfect attack. We got a decent loot also. I think it was a lot more successful than the previous one, of course. Um, don't care about the stars, of course, but like I say, you see, having a balanced uh, army and deploy the units at the right time, it really makes a big difference, okay? Um, dark troopers are extremely, extremely useful, um, but you also need some firepower. So I haven't, to be quite honest, I haven't spent much time upgrading the ATMP. Because I really got pissed, and I hope, hopefully, they're gonna release a patch or something. Um, this unit, the ATMP and the ATAT, are really, really stupid. I know that their main idea is to destroy the shield generators, but it's still, I mean, they, they take forever to get there, and even when they're shooting at it, uh, they destroy it, and then they, they turn around, and then they start killing some. Uh, walls and then screw around again and they don't provide any 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 other support so that's why I decide you know what screw it I'm gonna use my veteran ATST to do that job and uh, I'll, I'll figure out another way to protect uh, and get rid of the turrets right because that guy's not doing nothing but anyway we're gonna try to probably come up with another episode later on today and we're gonna try to use those ATAT in a better way 
uh, I found a way. Yeah, I, like I say, it's a little bit glitchy, unfortunately, but I found a way to to be able to use those AT and T in a AT and T <laughs> in a better way when they're surrounded by infantry. So dark, actually dark troopers, uh, AT AT using the bathroom and the vehicle plus uh, storm troopers is a deadly deadly combo deadly deadly combo yes that was my iphone god damn it i hate when they make that sound <laughs> but uh and the other one we're gonna do in some other raid with uh, using scout we're not gonna go for uh stars or medals we're just gonna go for loot okay so stay tuned fellas we're gonna be doing that later on probably today or probably tomorrow but uh, don't forget to subscribe, share my videos, like it, and comment in the commentary section. All the just questions, any question that you have, I'm going to try to help you and resolve it for you. All right, fellas. Game Hunter, signing off. Take it easy, everybody.